Hi Smarties, Miss Sailing here with your math lesson for today. Um, it's going to be kind of a short lesson, but a fun lesson. I just want you to experiment with measurement and the different units of measuring. Um, before we do that, we're going to get our brains warmed up and ready to go. We're not going to do a number of the day today. We're going to do some math facts. So, I'm going to show you a math fact, and then you're going to see how fast you can get it. Okay, so it's kind of like beat the clock, beat yourself. How fast can you get this? 14. You should know this one. This one's making 10. 10. Double, 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 trouble, six. All right, just a couple math facts to get those brains warmed up, ready to go. And your math lesson for today, like I said, kind of fun. So we've been talking about um, measuring length, and yesterday we brought in measuring height. Um, so we are going to, and we talked about the different units of measuring. Um, you can measure with a cube. Okay, we even did our own makeshift cube with a sticky note. You can measure with a paper clip. You can measure with hands. You can measure with um, crayons. Um, you're measuring length, how long something is. What is longer? What is the longest? What is shorter? What is the shortest out of different objects when you're comparing objects? So today I thought it would be fun to use a different unit um, of measuring. And we're going to use our own foot. Okay, so we're going to measure. So here's mine. It says Miss Failing's foot. Okay, you're going to measure things in feet, but it's going to be your own foot. So it's going to be very different. Obviously, if I were to measure the rug that I here have on the ground with my foot, it's going to be different as if, if you were to measure it with your foot because yours is going to be smaller. So all you need for this fun activity is just a piece of paper. And then I laid it flat on the ground. You can see me through it. I laid it flat on the ground. I took a, and I stepped on it. And I took a pen and I just traced my foot, okay? You might need help with this. You could have someone help you trace it. I want you to try it. But you can use lined paper, recycled paper. I will use this paper again for something else. Um, but yeah, so all you have to do is step on a piece of paper, trace it, and then write your name on it. Like I wrote Miss Sailing's foot. Um, you can write your name and then foot. So what you're going to do with this is you are going to go around again, a scavenger hunt around the house or even outside. It's beautiful outside. Get outside and you can measure things outside or in your house using your foot. So if I were to measure this end table right here, let's see if I can show you, okay, I would measure it the length of it, okay, using my foot. And then here, okay, and it looks like it's going to be about three feet. Three of Miss Failing's feet, okay? So that is what you're going to do today, just a fun um, kind of follow-up activity with measuring um, using this unit of measuring now. So please have fun with this. Again, just trace your foot, cut it on out with scissors, and then have fun finding things around the house or outside um, to measure with using your foot. So that is it. That is your math lesson for today. Um, like I said, just following up on measuring. You can even compare things. Find two objects and see which one's longer, which one's so shorter. Find three objects, which one's the longest. Okay, all using your foot for measuring with. So have fun. That is your math lesson for today. That is it for today. Um, have a great day. Get outside and play. Remember to smile and I will see you tomorrow for morning meeting.
Bye, Smarties.